pectus chest wall deformity. It's the most common chest wall deformity seen in 1 to 400 live birth. Pectus excavatum is 6 times more common than carinatum. Males are 4 to 5 times more common than females. Disturbances in the growth of the sternum and coastal arches, as well as biomechanical factors, are suspected in the pathogenesis and is frequently associated with connective tissue disorders. Such abnormal growth leads to sternal depression or protrusion. The long-standing misconception persists that PE is a cosmetic defect with no physiologic consequences. This misconception has resulted in patients reaching adulthood with uncorrected defects. Some patients will develop cardiopulmonary symptoms for the first time as they age. Types Pectus excavatum pectus carinatum horseshoe or mixed defect and flare chest. Pectus associated conditions, scoliosis. In scoliosis, the spine is curved from side to side or in an S or C shape. Scoliosis can be congenital or developmental and can also be categorized as either structural or non-structural. Marfan syndrome, tall, thin, pectus, scoliosis, aortic aneurysm, mitral prolapse, ehlers danlos syndrome, joint hypermobility, skin hyperextensibility, and tissue fragility. Noonan syndrome, is a genetic disorder that may present with mildly unusual facial features, short height, congenital heart disease, bleeding problems, and skeletal malformations including pectus deformities. Facial features include widely spaced eyes, light-colored eyes, low set ears, a short neck, and a small lower jaw. Poland's syndrome, absent of pectoralis muscle, ribs, pectus, short fingers or forearm, homocyst and urea, affects the metabolism of the amino acid methionine. All thin build resembling marfanoid habitus, pectus, long limbs, dola, chest, anomelia, the eye arched feet, pace cavus, knock knees, genu valgum, osteogenesis, imperfect brittle bone. Presentation of pectus excavatum shortness of breath upon exertion chest pain fatigue heart palpitations back pain heart murmur recurrent respiratory infections wheezing coughing anxiety and body image disturbance. Investigations ECG abnormalities in electrocardiogram results most commonly right bundle branch block and signs of atrial and ventricular hypertrophy. Sinus arrhythmias and premature ventricular beats, echocardiography, to rule out MV in aortic root pathology, non-contrast CT scan or MRI, allow visualization of the malformation and can reveal cardiac compression, cardiac displacement, and the presence of atelectasis or tracheobronchial compression. The Holler index is calculated using the width of the chest divided by the distance between the posterior surface of the sternum and the anterior surface of the spine. Normal 2.5 to 2.7, greater than 3.2 is a severe deformity pulmonary function test saturation. In severe cases, compression of the sternum and decreased thoracic volume may cause a decrease in forced vital capacity, tidal volume, and mixed VO2 saturation cardiopulmonary exercise test. Cardiac limitations resulting from the malformation can be demonstrated by an abnormally low maximum anaerobic VO2 level during exercise testing. Limitation in peak exercise capacity. Management, psychological support, dissatisfaction, feelings of low self-esteem and a negative body image. Non-surgical and non-corrective surgical techniques, vacuum belt therapy, surgical implants, corrective surgical techniques, open technique, ravage, minimal invasive, NUS. Surgical techniques The decision to have surgical correction is largely based on the severity and type of pectus deformity patient choice including the psychosocial impact and physical or functional issues. Ravage open technique entails a 5 to 7 cm skin incision, chondrectomy is 3 to 5, osteotomy, metal strutness, minimal invasive thoracoscopic technique, placement of metal bar behind the sternum utilizing vats. Pectus carinatum, variety chondrum and brial variety a chondrum and brial prominence which is higher on the chest with the apex above the nipple line. Chondrogladiolar variety, central mid, central low, right and left lateral rib flare. Presentation Patients with pectus carinatum present with protrusion of the sternum and ribs, often asymptomatic but occasionally with tenderness at the protrusion site, reduced pulmonary endurance, or tachypnea with exertion. Respiratory symptoms such as dyspnea and reduced endurance are more common in the chondrum and brial variety, as the flexibility of the chest wall is decreased compared to the chondrogladiolar deformity. Investigations Evaluation of the severity of the deformity is performed radiographically utilizing the Holler Index, the ratio of the transverse diameter of the chest wall to the greatest anteroposterior diameter. Pectus Index greater than 1.29 Mild Pectus Index 1.28 to 1.18 Moderate Pectus Index 1.17 to 1.02 Severe Pectus Index less than 1.02 Extreme
Management non-surgical bracing The braces are worn either under or over the patient's clothing for between 14 and 24 hours per day, depending on the manufacturer and the severity of the chest wall protrusion. A non-surgical correction is most effective when applied before the patient's growth spurt and less effective after age 19 due to changes in the flexibility of the chest wall. However, due to the lengthy treatment period, often months to years, and slow progression of the correction, many patients do not view this as an acceptable option. Surgical correction, Ravitch technique, or Abramson utilizes a modified NUS bar cosmetic concealment. Bodybuilding to sculpt the musculature, breast augmentation in females. Thank you.